Hey everyone, welcome back to the place where we're testing every single mask on Amazon. Today I'm looking at the ah, Daily Protective Face Mask, KN95. Um, okay, Daily Protective. I think it's also made by a company called Prim Care. At least that's what I have in my notes. Let's dive into this thing and see what happens. We got to put it in the clamp machine. What I love about KN95s is almost every time they're individually packed. Um, that's really cool. I'm wondering if they're doing this by hand because this this doesn't. I mean, if you look at this, like, look, it's not 100% perfect. It's like offside, and this is clearly like just a thing that flaps down. It could be done by a robot, but I'm wondering if it's by hand. Um, I'm gonna guess. Just a guess that this is not an actual KN95, and I'll tell you why in a second. I'm gonna teach you how you can spot a fake KN95 even without a lab coat. That's right, lab coat not required. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. We are testing with NACL today. If you wanna check out how that works, go there. One other note, we are just looking at the filtration of the actual fabric. I can't test the fit on your face because I ain't you. But you can, just make sure it fits. It's not rocket surgery. We bought this on Amazon, KN95 uh, five ply mask. Made in the USA, or this is very confusing. Made in the USA and imported. Hmm. <laughs> what? And then manufactured by Chanshao Shwama Medical Devices uh, LTD. Let's look at the box. So they're saying right on here, GB2626-2, that's the KN95 standard. Weird that they would put that in there. 95% KN95, so they're definitely clear claiming that um, made in China, in case you're wondering. So not made in the US. So weird. I think that maybe was a typo though. This is, how many is in here? Five? Ooh, not very many. It's a very fluffy mask, but okay, here's why I don't think it's an actual KN95. Doesn't mean it won't test well. Um, so a real KN95, that weird thing I said was on the front, it's got to have the name of the brand, it's got to have the model number of the KN95, and it's got to say GB2626 on there. And it doesn't say that, it just says KN95. By the way, this mask is really breathable, uh, about 119 pascals. So that's great, you want to be under 150, and that one's pretty good. Test the ear loops, oh wow, that's sad. Okay, so half the ear loops, great. The other half, not so great. I'm not going to give them good marks on that. And I can't test that many. I can't break ear loops like I'm used to because, number one, it takes 28 minutes. Time it. Three hours later. For me to open this each bag. And then, you know, number two. I don't remember what number two is. All right. Put it on. Wow, this is Duckbill Central here. Nice fits. Very soft. Extremely soft. Actually fits my face nicely. I have a bigger face than probably the average person, so, you know. Keep that in mind that ear loops are super soft. Super strong smell. I'm gonna call this a recently sterilized KN95 mask from China. So for some reason, like literally every KN95 mask, if you put one on, you know what I mean, that's made in China, has this like really plasticky smell. This one smells like you took that and dipped it in isopropyl alcohol, which is easy for you to say, Lloyd. It wasn't easy. Um, yeah, I, don't, I think it's a very soft mask, pretty good quality construction. I don't like that the ear loops, I think they might actually fall off on your face. Actually, let's test it. No, not going to fall off on your face. All right, cool. But does any of that matter if it doesn't protect you? Let's try it out. PFE results are in 97.811. Hey, they're meeting their standard. Good job. Daily Protective Prime Care, that is your real name. All right, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I uh, appreciate your time. If this was helpful to you, like drop me a like or a subscribe or, you know, hit me uh, up in the comments. Like be like, hey Lloyd, thank you so much, but I think your face is stupid. I don't even care. Like just any comment would be fine, even if it's negative. All right, thank you so much and I will catch you on the next test.